Okay. All right, YouTube. I just want to share something with you. I found a bow. Kind of rough condition. I need to strip it down, refinish it. Repolyurethane it. And it'll be good as new. But I found this set down in Springfield. STS Archery. I thought he was going to have more uh, traditional bows than what I found there. He only had three. Two of them were take down. One of them was one piece. I wasn't going to pay the arm and the leg for the two that he had there. One he wanted, uh, might as well say, $500 for it. It was a custom. And I really didn't like the way the riser was on it. The other one was a Fleetwood takedown, 55 pound. He wanted a 399 for it. I uh, kind of laughed at him when he told me the price on it. I said, you know, I can go ahead and pick that up off on, uh, Amazon for about $190 and have it here in about four days. He said, oh, no, you can't. And I looked it up and I showed it to him. Exact same boat. I understand he has to make some money off of it, but he's not going to make money off of me there. I think he thought he was making his money off of, off of me uh, when he sold me this. It didn't have any cracks in it, no delamination in the limbs. No nothing. The only problem it did have was a lower limb twist. It was propellered really bad. Because you looked at it, the tip was twisted almost two inches, two and a half inches to the side. I asked him how much he'd take for it. He told me uh, he'd take 10 for it. So I pulled out my wallet and gave him 10 bucks for it. Brought it home. I put it in my bow vise. Put it in like this with the top limb and the vise. Had it flat, level. And I went and put a piece of leather here right about here and put my vice grips on it. Then I placed this on the end of the vice grip, which brought it back the other direction, just a little bit past center. Then I took my heat gun and warmed up the limb which brought it a little bit more, about an inch past center. So I let it cool down, let it set, looked at it, brought the tip right in line. I strung it up, made sure it stayed in the string grooves on the limbs, which it did. I mean, it's just perfectly straight now. Not a twist one. Then I left it strung up overnight. That way the limbs set. But one problem I had 
was locating uh, who actually made this. And if I'd looked at the uh, emblem, which is a little worn out, wore down, I would have known right offhand if I just studied it a little bit closer. And I did not know that this company made anything other than firearms. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is made by the Colt Firearms Company. This is a Plainsman 60 inch 45 pound draw at 28 inches. I had to make the string for it. Didn't have a string for it when I bought it. No biggie. I've got strings made up for 58 inch, 60 inch, and even my uh, 72 inch longbows. I've got continuous loops. I also make the uh, Flemish twist and I normally use the Flemish twist on my long bows and occasionally on one of my other bows like my horse bows and the Chinese long bow. But let's take this outside and let's see how well it shoots. Okay, let's see if it explodes on me. Get my finger tab out here. I haven't put a shelf pad on it. Not yet. hearing anything but a little bit of string and what that is I don't have a pad up here where the string meets the uh, limb I'll put a little bit of felt pad here on both ends that'll take care of that thump got away from me. Doesn't shoot bad. No hand shot. Especially an old bow like this. Let me know if you think I got hurt on the price. I know that one got away from me. Went high left. This is what I ended up with. Oh, I had two of them get, get away from me. Didn't notice him. Did 
Didn't notice these two. Eh. Not too bad. Yeah, I don't feel it stacking. I don't feel any hand shock. tennis ball twice. Yeah, I'm getting that area shot out. Move that poor bunny. But yeah, not shooting too bad. Let's check the uh, string, see if it stayed in the grooves. State center. State center. I think what had happened, somebody had let this set in, in the corner. Just like that. And sat there for Lord only knows how long. never want to set your bow on end on the floor in a corner or up against the wall you always want to hang them like this or like this straight up and down or flat and don't leave your bow strong For too long. Last night I left it strung overnight just so the limb and the epoxy would set back up. And it does draw about 46 pounds at 28 inches and it's marked 45 pounds. put it on the scale this morning okay let's try this again Ooh. bad release that's what happens when you pluck the string Tennis ball again. Uh, right next to it. Yep. Already got my opinions on it. Just go ahead and leave me a comment on your opinions if I got hurt or if I got a deal on it. It's fairly accurate. Still in the groove. Still in the string groove.
The only thing I have to do now is get the uh, polyurethane off this, give it a good little slight sanding, and make sure I put all this back on here. And polyurethane it. Be like a brand new boat. Shoots like it. That's all I got for you today. Keep the arrows flying. Have fun. Be safe at it.